For this video, I'm gonna show y'all personally how I style my clothes and my outfits and how I add little things and how those little additions kind of help complete my look and my style. Man, this hair still feels so weird. I am not used to this. Anyways, what is good, y'all? Thank y'all so much for tuning in once again to another video here. I recently just changed the name from Patron on Ice. I had that since 2017. Legendary, iconic. I know a lot of people on my Instagram poll wanted me to keep it, but I think like a majority of the people said to just change it to be the same as my Instagram or TikTok name, Miguel V. Patron, so it could just be all in unison. With that being said, thank y'all so much for tuning in. If y'all are new, I appreciate y'all if y'all been rocking with me for years now. I especially appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all hit subscribe, like, comment. Y'all know the deal. With that being said, we're going to be discussing a topic that has been all over my social media. Not I want to say all over, but it's like a trend going on right now with people like wearing clothes and then styling it. Basically the same clothing, but then accessories and different little things, knickknacks that they can throw onto their fit to like fully style it. And I totally agree, honestly, like anybody can put on clothes but it's all about how you style it. It's all about what you add to it, the flair. First of all, how confident you are and how you rock it and confidence kind of comes from the different things that you add to your clothing. It could be a small addition, it could be a big addition, but it's all just like little details that kind of just complete the look. And so for this video, I'm gonna show y'all personally how I style my clothes and my outfits and how I add little things and how those little additions kind of help complete my look and my style. Firstly, y'all, is literally probably the smallest thing that I'm gonna show y'all, but yeah, it's this thing. It's a pin. Y'all are probably wondering, is that from in and out No, dude, I got this out of an estate sale, all right? But in and out do have some big safety pins as well. But this I have been using recently as a keychain holder and I loop it onto my belt. And honestly, like, it's a small change and a small addition to the fit. But I think it just kind of adds that little, mm, you know what I mean? Like, look here, a couple of my fits on Instagram, I was rocking it. I'm basically wearing here like an all black, all gray fit. And just throw on that little safety pin keychain thing. And I don't know. I feel like it just fully ties it together. Let me know what y'all think. And then even with this fit, the double damn denim. It's kind of actually what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing the same pants and same denim jacket without the hat. And yeah, I think it just, I don't know. Just sprinkles a little something onto the fit. It's not too loud, it's not too excessive. Just the right amount, in my opinion. It doesn't even have to be this. I know people have the actual like hook things that uh, you put on like backpacks when you're like hiking. What are those called, like care carabines? Carabiners, care, y'all know what I'm talking about. People use that as a keychain and that works too, but for me, it's the safety pin. And if y'all have been following me for a while, you know that headwear has been a huge thing for me. No, this isn't a hat, all right? This is my actual hair, okay? But whether it be bandanas, beanies, hats, like I literally, look. Look at all these bandanas I got. I got it all. Every single color you can think of, I got it. Pink, gray, brown, yellow. I literally have every single color bandana. They're all vintage, they're all like made in USA. And then beanies, I got a rainbow of beanies as well. Green, purple, black, orange. Tan, I got a brown one as well. And then hats, I got this guy, it's a little trucker joint I got at the state sale. Someone ripped that out. I love the color, I love the fade and the wash on this joint. And it's corduroy, which is honestly one of my favorite fabrics. And then I know y'all see me talk about this on Instagram or y'all see me wear this all the time, but it's these two hats. This one's like a 80s, 90s take on a conductor engineer hat. And then this one's actually like from the 50s with some beautiful patchwork going on. Obviously I love styling my hair and obviously this is new, but I used to have it like fully slicked back and like still long mullet in the back. I had like the front puffed up and the side slicked back. But obviously I'm styling it like this now with a little shag. But headwear, be changing up the fits like what I showed y'all earlier. The same exact outfit, the double damn denim with that engineer hat. Goes absolutely crazy in my opinion. Like I feel like the hickory stripe just ties in the denim all together. And that's the thing with all these y'all. Like you can have an expensive like garment up top or even jeans, denim. But like if you're not styling it correctly, it looks like you're just wearing expensive stuff. In my opinion, like how you rock it, obviously with your confidence, but like the little flair that you add. For me, like I'll wear a bandana when I'm like just casual, like lazy with my hair, chill, calm outfit. I'll throw that on, I feel like it just elevates it. And then beanies, obviously when it's a little bit chiller, like right now in this season, it's getting to be fall, so I'll definitely bring out the beanies a little bit more and wear it. The beanie just adds like that layer, especially because when you're layering in the fall and winter, 
center. It just kind of helps tie it together rather than just having your hair out. I'll still do that, but I like to throw it off a little bit with the beanie. And then the hats just honestly literally look good with every single outfit. But yeah, I love my headwear. It's all about kind of discerning when to wear it or different outfits to style it with. Like I probably wouldn't wear this hat with like my baggy sweats and like a crop t-shirt. No, I'll probably rock like my beanie or like a bandana with it. So as your style progresses and as you get used to wearing different kind of outfits, you'll kind of start figuring out which accessories go with what outfits. That's why I encourage y'all and implore y'all. Implore, wow, big word. How do I spell that? I-M-P-L-O-R-E, let's go. But yeah, that's why I encourage y'all to go out there in the wild, look for some different things that'll kind of stretch your outfits and stretch your style. Little things that you could add to your outfits and to your look. And then eventually, as the fits go on, you'll kind of find your rhythm onto what looks good with what. That's why thrifting and trying new things out is like very important to me because I can add little things, whether it be a bandana around the neck or a bandana on the head or a bandana in the back of the pocket. Like That's just a little accessory that just kind of makes my outfit stand out. Because at the end of the day, if someone's wearing the same like designer jacket or designer jeans or same Levi, same Levi's jacket, jacket it's those little things that will kind of make you stand out from the crowd whether it's like a bandana in your back pocket or a bandana around your neck or the hat you're wearing like it's those little things that kind of just elevate you above the rest so yeah headwear very important and very key to my personal style next thing y'all are bags here's my L.O. Bean bone toe collection here's one of the most recent ones I got I got this at like a swap meet nice big white and red one this one I'd use for like the summer and springtime because it's so bright but it's so pretty little yellow and orange and then this one right here has some hangers in it but it's one of the biggest button toes I've seen look how big this is y'all this one I've been using for the gym look at the tricolor way we got the green we got the brown we got the purple and I love this one because it has a little zipper closure right here huh beautiful eh? but yeah tote bags especially if you're going out to like a coffee shop where you're actually running some errands and you want to hold some things like a bag is clutch and it kind of just makes the outfit stand out once again, like I said. And a few of these things, like, you can combine together. Like, obviously, the hat and, like, the keychain and the bag. Like, you can rock that together. And those little accessories just kind of combine. <laughs> what the hell is this? If you do it right, it just all kind of works together. If y'all were interested in those, those are L.O. Bean bone totes. Search it up. You could probably find one for like 40 bucks. But yeah, they're super clutch. I love using it, especially when I go to a coffee shop and edit. I put my laptop in there. I put some snacks in there. I put food in there. And then my most recent bag pickup, y'all, is this newspaper mailman bag. And this one is gorgeous, especially because it's local here to San Diego. Look at that. The Union San Diego. This has that, right? Let me double check. Oh no, it's the San Diego Union. It's in this nice cream color with, with a little lime green right there. Yeah, I even wore this recently with a fit with like an OG 107 like military shirt. And mm, it just made the fit look so good. Yeah, this is probably my favorite. Like, I would never sell this. Like, those bags I might sell, the bone totes. But this one, just the fact that it's local to San Diego is a... Uh, for sure a keeper. And the last and most important accessory that I use for my personal style is literally my jerley. I got it on. I always have it on. Whatever fit I have, I'll throw some jerley on. My two necklaces right here from Etsy. I literally just searched up like custom necklace. I put in my initials MVP. And then this is a, I just typed in beaded necklace. But yeah, these two are my go-to. I feel like it just looks really great together. Got a little two-tone Seiko. I got this on eBay three years ago for like 80 bucks. It's my daily, it's my only watch that I wear. But yeah, this actually kind of looks like a Rolex from the side. People see it like, oh, is that a Rolex? I'm like, nah, dude, I'm not that rich, relax. And then the bracelet I got on right now is this Gucci joint. I got this for my birthday, like, three years ago as well. And then all of my rings are from secondhand silver. Literally the greatest to find your jewelry. Earrings I have on are from Amazon. Nice little silver hoop earrings. I haven't taken these off since I got them. Also on that note, do you guys ever smell your own earrings? Like if you don't clean it after a while, that thing starts to stink, bro. Ooh, mine's not that bad, but I don't know. It's like gasoline. It's like a weird, gross smell that you're just so intrigued by that you'd be down to smell it again. <laughs> this though right here is probably my favorite bracelet of all time, but it broke as I was wearing it, it got caught on something. I gotta get the clasp refixed, and besides that, 
it's good. But this is from secondhand silver as well. They literally have one-on-one -on -one items that are actually vintage. And secondhand silver, I also have like a pearl necklace, pearl earrings. I wear those for more like dressier occasions. Yeah, jewelry literally, I feel, just puts the fit together, even if you're not wearing a hat. Even if you're not wearing a bandana, if you're not wearing one of those bags. If you have jewelry on, like it literally elevates your outfit instantaneously. With that being said though, y'all, there is one accessory that I do need like bad. This is like a grail. This is like one of those things that I actually need. I have a lot of clothes. I have plenty, but obviously if I find something, I'll add it to my collection. But one thing that I actually am in search of and have been in search for is one of those rockabilly like 50 studded belts, like either in black or brown. If y'all have it and you're watching this, let me know. I'm a waist anywhere from like 32, 34 and I'll pay, but I don't tax me too crazy, but I need that. I literally need that and I think my life would be complete if I get that. <laughs> no, I'm playing. But I would be really ecstatic to get that. So if you're watching this and you have a pair, a black one or you have like a brown one, I might even settle for like the repros of the 90s ones just because they actually make pretty good repros. I need it. I need it. I need it. Let me know. But yeah, y'all, those are the personal ways that I elevate and style my outfits rather than just wearing it. But yeah, y'all, let me know down in the comments which one of those items I showed y'all are your favorites. And let me know your personal way that you like to style your outfits rather than just wearing it. Hope y'all enjoyed, and don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, comment, y'all know the deal. Follow me on IG or TikTok, Miguel V. Patron. And y'all know what it is. I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. The way that you walk in the room, girl, you're making it harder to function. Step on the scene, you're looking at me, and my heart started jumping. And they'll never get it, cause baby they think it's just casual loving